is Healthcare Information Systems, or as you would know them, EPR, Electronic Patient Records, the IT system which we use in order to care for patients. At the moment, EPR covers a small proportion of what we do, but in the future, in the future, it's going to cover everything. All the things that you currently do on paper are going to be part of a computer system. That's a sort of EPR on steroids. And we call that Allscripts. Allscripts is the name of the company who wrote the software in the first place. You can call it whatever you like, but this system is going to change your world. It's going to be everything that you do, and it's going to be the way in which you care for patients. We've all come across problems with things like handwriting, duplication, how we communicate with other people, um, and e-prescribing. We know that, that prescribing through the organisation has caused all sorts of problems. We know that there have been issues to do with emissions, about how things are processed. We know that there are errors which have been made. All of these sorts of things are things which have been difficult to address until this point in time. We have an opportunity with this new system to be able to do something fundamentally different, to change our world and to reduce the risks that we have to patients. Petro is helping us. She's working on uh, the system and she's working on how the forms will look in the future. So we are doing the building of the system at the moment. All the clinical documents, for instance, the risk assessment, you will see the must tool on here. You will click through different sections like this to fill in the patient's information and at the end it will calculate the scores. Um, currently you are doing that on paper, but from May next year it will all be on the system like this. As Petra was telling you, we've started to configure the system. But it didn't start there. It started back here in September 2014 when we bought the system. We bought the system from all scripts. Since then, we've been doing various bits and pieces of work in order to sort the system out to be ready, ready to configure it so that it works the way that you expect it to. It works like the documentation that you already have. We are about halfway through. We've got a little while to go before we get to May 2016 when the system is switched on. That is go live. This is the sort of documentation that we are configuring at the moment. We're building this so that it looks like the stuff that you already use. This is Falls Care Plan. You'll recognize the documentation, you'll recognize the pieces of paper. There were, in fact, seven slightly different variations of the Falls Care Plan in use within the hospital. What we've done is to put them all together into a single electronic document. That document covers all of the stuff that was in the, in the seven. It is a newer and um, a complete document. That's now been built, but that brings us to problem. If somebody brings a new version of a Falls Care Plan, we can't work with that now because we've already done, put aside the hours that needed to be given to building this. That means, as from now, we can't take extra bits of documentation. We need to work with you to build the ones that you've got because it's the system that you're going to be using in the future which counts. We aren't just configuring documents, though. We're configuring almost everything that you're going to be doing. It was all of the observations and the e-prescribing system. You're going to be prescribing drugs using this system. You're going to type them into computers and the whole system is going to work through that. Dan here is working on that prescribing system at the moment. He's putting it together so that it makes sense for you. As Martin said, we're also building electronic prescribing uh, into the system and so that not only will you be able to use the system to record documents, to record what you're doing with patients on a care plan, but also you'll be able to electronically prescribe medication and also record when you've given medication to patients uh, electronically. What we've been working on initially is to build a database of all the items and drugs that we may think you need to prescribe for your patients across all these different specialties within the organisation, together with a team from pharmacy and from all scripts to do that work. We're at the point where that's kind of complete at the moment and so now we're looking at some of the more technical aspects of the system of how to make prescribing safer and how the system can help you do the right things for your patients but also at the same time be intuitive and easy to use for prescribers and so that we improve safety for patients across the organisation when it comes to the use of medicines. So the building work is well underway. The system is becoming exactly how you would expect it to look. It looks like the stuff that you already do. That takes us through to November, somewhere around about here. At the end of November, we will have finished building the system. It will then exist. 
through the time period where I'm currently sat is going to be the time when we test it. We need to make sure this system is absolutely secure, that it's absolutely reliable. So we will test it. And then we'll get to February over here. In February, the system will be complete, built, tested. It will be live on our computers. We will be able to do whatever we wish with it. You will be able to play with the system. In the time period between February and May 2016, that's the time period when we need to show you how to use it. But showing you how to use it isn't just about teaching you. Sure, we can do that. We'll do the teaching bit. We'll show you how to use it, but it's got to be more than that. You've got to actually understand how to use it. This has got to matter to you. It's going to change everything that you do. All of the documentation that you currently put in, everything you do on a day-to-day -day basis is going to change. It's not enough just to teach you how to use the system. You have to actually understand how to do it. So we will encourage you to use the system, play with it, do stuff with it, mess about with it, make mistakes on it. It's fine. It's not just about teaching. You've got to understand this system completely because this is going to change your world.